Welcome to the lunge matrix. You have two choices. Take the blue pill, you go back to your standard squats and deadlifts. Or, you take the red pill, and we see just how far the rabbit hole goes. This is my absolute favorite concept to talk about because it completely debunks the myth that you should always just squat with your knees pointed straight forward. That is not how real life works. And in the lunge matrix, I'm gonna show you just how important it is to be able to pivot to many different angles as well as to utilize different positions that you may not normally get into, but I guarantee at some point in your life, you probably will. So as you can see, I've drawn a compass here, and uh, the lunch matrix is something I developed for my five minute flow program specifically to help kind of organize uh, natural athletic human movements. So the couple things I wanna talk to you about first, let's start with the lunge. So you can lateral lunge, and a lunge just means that you return to the starting position every time. And if you use the line here, it makes it very easy to see where you should move. And you'll notice that my foot right now is always pointing straight ahead. But I'm using those lines to help me decide where to move to. There's one more key component though, and that's called segmental disassociation. And this is a cornerstone of the five minute flow program. The idea that when I do that lateral lunge, I can rotate and reach my arm across back this way, or I can reach it back the other way. So you have all these different ways that you can incorporate the movement of the upper body but that's not where it stops. You can also step the foot at a different angle, whether you're stepping forward or across your body. So you have, we'll keep it simple right now. I go into more detail in this in my uh, five minute flow program, but for right now, let's just say you have your basic lunge matrix, you have segmental disassociation, which can be the neck and the torso, like we talked about in the rotation. And then you also have the power of pivoting. So being on the ball of the foot or being on the heel of the foot. So let's say I'm over here, I can pivot that foot over to the side and pivot back. So I don't necessarily have to move every time and I don't have to stay on that compass, but I do want to be able to maintain control and I want to be able to move and bend at the knee with a variety of different foot and ankle positions because the truth is, if you don't do this in a safe and controlled setting now, when you do get into an athletic sport or a chaotic movement, you're gonna break. So I don't want you to always think like, oh, well you just have to always be on this perfect line and let's get everything ready and oh, okay, it's time to exercise. I want you to understand this framework of the lunge matrix and then use it to embrace your creativity under your own muscular control. So don't get greedy, get really comfortable making all these kind of different lunge movements with a short step and then also get to the point where you can very easily pivot on that foot and get comfortable changing the weight distribution. So I don't know if you're aware right now, but as soon as you start playing around with this, you'll realize that just based on the few things I showed you today, you have thousands of different potential combinations you can do just from this one spot. A uh, couple key points to remember while you do this. Everything should be on purpose. So if I lunge forward and my aim is to keep the whole foot on the ground, the whole foot stays on the ground. Now, if I have a different intention, like let's say I want to lunge forward, but I want to come up onto the ball of the foot, that's fine, you just got to do it on purpose. It's fine to let that other leg come off the ground. It's fine to let the knee go over the toe but it's only fine if you do it on purpose and you build up to it slowly and progressively. 
Hopefully this uh, 12 video series, not hopefully, I know this is gonna help you out a ton. If you follow just these couple things and you spend five minutes every single day, you'll be absolutely shocked at what a difference it makes in your athleticism, your flexibility, pain relief, increased energy. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer anything. If you wanna join the Five Minute Flow group on Facebook, we post stuff there every day, inspirational stuff, uh, stuff learning about movement. And if you want any more information, uh, go ahead and visit my website at maxshank.com and I will see you all next year. Happy holidays, everyone.